Uh, today we're talking about uh, Sodium. Uh, Sodium is uh, like an arcade um, game, typical sort of arcade game, sort of enveloped in a nice social framework on, on home. So essentially, we got um, what um, we regard as a typical sort of PSN arcade experience um, straight within home itself, with all the sort of social um, elements that home has to offer. You get gifted the, the Sodium One game, which is the arcade game that we've been uh, taught, discussing. Um, that, uh, you have the first five levels there for free. You can pay, uh, as we said, $4.99 for the full 50. Um, that links fully back into the, the full freemium hub. So basically, you're picking up commodities such as gold, silver, silicone. Those can be traded in for sodium credits, which you, know, you can purchase virtual goods, T-shirts. We're going to be re releasing apartments. Um, when you're playing the, 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 the uh, Desert Quench game, you've essentially got uh, bar outfits if you want to be one of the uh, bartenders. Um, and there's a whole, a whole glow range, glow sticks, animated t-shirts, glow shoes. So we'll be, you know, partying pretty hard in that space. So when, you, when you're uh, fighting in your sodium one tank during the day, you, you'll be partying hard during the night. In the event space, the Desert Stomp, uh, the, the Scorpion Stomp game, essentially 64 players in the instance can stomp those together. It gets quite good fun when somebody gets the scorpion, uh, scorpion you're after, um, and it's very social. The Desert Quench game. So, Sodium One's just the beginning of one of the large sort of former arc arcade grinds. Sodium Two, etc., will be out, and um, there'll be frequent updates with the uh, objective-based metagaming from, from your NPC, Vicky. You can, you, one of the big uh, selling points for the, for the Sodium One game is you can go back in and replay the levels with the upgraded weaponry that you've collected. You know, we're going to be punctuating, you know, going forward, these, these fully immersive arcade experiences. And, um, you know, we really look forward to developing it further and, and uh, building a nice um, community around our product.